Okay, I'm going to say something about my outdoor piece only because I want it as an introduction to the show. Basically, uh, I put a little uh, border around a square border that's straight and I put the painting off axis to indicate that I'm book drunk. So that's the thrust of uh, the image and I hope that it would convey just momentarily what the whole show is about. Uh, I'm Jim Neidhart. I have a, a, a show at Blackfish this month and it's called Book Drunk. It's the second of my book shows this year. For some reason I've decided that books are a vanishing species and I need to do something about it, especially hardbound leather books. So uh, I looked in some auction catalogs for rare books and I noticed that uh, there were photographs of the books uh, and they were kind of composed very interestingly. Just the back of the book and the side panels because book collectors apparently are only interested in the tooling and the leather and this and that. So the show is kind of an homage to uh, the disappearing hardbound volume uh, and uh, Moroccan being kind of a reddish leather. Uh, I have that piece on the floor because I wanted to kind of echo my feeling for the show that I'm intoxicated with books, which is, I mean, I'm a book addict. I wouldn't exactly say intoxicated, but it provided me an opportunity to hang things a little differently than you normally see paintings hung. So uh, I have kind of a cascade here, and the final piece ends up on the floor. And I thought, what's more uh, kind of different about uh, putting things on the floor? I mean, that's fairly common these days, but to take a painting and put it face down on the floor uh, is a little challenging for viewers and I'll, I'll, I'll gallery visitors, and I'll sort of talk about that more. Uh, as a point that I want to bring up about whether people should touch or not touch work. So in addition to hanging things in an odd fashion like here, uh, I wanted to try some other things uh, with the book composition. And I, I wanted to just abstract it out where content really wasn't an issue. So that's what these pieces are about. They're really just a stripped down backs of books. And then over here, the progression, uh, you know, it's, it, it's sort of a simplification of the form. And then we're beginning to sort of take apart the form here. In my, this is all in my mind, of course. You may have a different read on it. And then finally, just sort of the end of the uh, volume. What was interesting to me is I had this great idea that, okay, I'm going to do stuff about books. I'm going to do it just about the outside of books. I'm going to do it in the color red. So I put the show up and one of the members of the gallery comes in and he said, I thought you were doing paintings of books. So I thought, oh, okay. I guess that this shows kind of a disconnect between what I think I'm doing and what people perceive, which is fine. So instead of putting the title book drunk somewhere and sort of punching that up, I thought, you know, I'll just let people discover it. And if they see books here at some point after they've been looking, that's great. If they don't, then these are just a series of red abstract pictures.
One thing that I would like to mention though, uh, going back to this original piece over here on the floor in the cascade, is that people during the uh, openings, uh, which I was here for, uh, felt compelled to pick up the piece because it was on the floor and put it somewhere because paintings aren't supposed to be on the floor. So this is usually where they put it. And of course that wasn't my idea. The piece is supposed to stay here. There's a little marking thing for it. But um, people want to do that. Now if it had been a piece of a napkin or a paper plate or something, I don't think people would pick it up and do something with it. But for some reason, a painting on the floor, face down, means that uh, you're supposed to pick it up and, you know, put it, <laughs> adjust it somewhere. But there's not even a nail for it to hang on, so I found that a little curious. Uh, I tried flipping the painting over, and if I did that, nobody touched it. They didn't bother with it. They thought, okay, this is fine. I'm comfortable with that. But if the painting was flipped on, uh, you know, nose down, that was problematic. So that was kind of the second, uh, just for me personally, interesting uh, thing that the show has brought up. Well, you, you just like to uh, push the edge, don't you? You like to uh, uh, be controversial, right? Well, yeah, I guess so. Uh, uh, I think we said once before that I'm kind of serious about not being serious. I'm serious about pushing the edge. Uh, and so I kind of flip around to different things. This is a painting show. I'm going to do a photography show next. And I've done that before. I just keep, I'm not one of these people that wants to perfect their technique. I'm more interested in getting my idea out and trying something. Yeah, so in this I case, found that in your shows, that every show is uh, very different from the uh, last. Yes, I, and I don't know if that's good or bad, but that's just the way I operate. So um, I think I do try different things, and uh, I really let the idea sort of dictate uh, what medium I use. Uh, and because I started late as an artist. Uh, I have no pretensions that I'm going to be a great painter or a great photographer or whatever. So in a way that's somewhat liberating. It just means, okay, I can just be an artist and deal with ideas and deal with putting things out. Now these are uh, acrylics? These are acrylic and they're on a variety of things. This is canvas unmounted, this is panel, there's canvas, traditional canvas. Mm -hmm. Oh, one thing that I thought was kind of interesting, I don't know if other people will, was I hung these a kelter, but I thought, you know, I'd like to sort of indicate that there are being sort of pulled off axes. So that's what the little wires are about. And again, that may not go outside my head, it's just something that occurred to me. What, I was, what I'm trying to articulate w with this uh, business about the piece on the floor is that it has something to do with the fact that art is sacred, it's not supposed to be treated irreverently, putting a painting face down on the floor is a mistake. It couldn't be. Why would the artist want to paint something and then put a face down on the floor? So I find that sort of as a sidebar very intriguing about installing this show. I just wanted to show uh, the window because uh, I'm showing with Tori Breyer and she has her painting conventionally hung. I put a border around mine to match hers and then I put mine off axis to emphasize just in a quick way this, is a, this show is off kelter. It's the book Drunk Show. So I'm allowed to be a little twisted.